Sometimes choosing a research topic is almost as hard as the research itself, and if you choose the wrong topic, doing the research is much more difficult. Luckily, the Walker Library has tools to help you choose an interesting topic and help you narrow it down. You might be familiar with the Joule search here on the library homepage. It's really useful if you already know your topic, but if you don't, there are some other places to look first. Let's click on the research guides. Now, the research guides are lists of resources organized by academic subject, and there's some really good stuff in there. But if you don't know what topic to choose, this is a really great guide. Click here on Help Me Choose a Topic. This guide has many resources to help you explore ideas, and one of the most popular tools we have is called Opposing Viewpoints. So let's take a look at it. Opposing Viewpoints presents articles on pressing issues of the day. Up here at the top, they have some featured topics, and if you scroll down, you'll see other topics organized by broad category. And you can also browse all 482 topics so scrolling through this page, there are hundreds of topics here on all types of issues, and just about everyone can find something of interest in this list. So just as an example, let's click down here on smartphones. Now smartphones is a very big topic, and here at the top you can click on this overview to read uh, some broad information on it. But if you're going to do a research paper, on this topic, you're going to have to narrow it down quite a bit. So scrolling down here, we can see that Opposing Viewpoints has a lot of information of different types, but the main thing that Opposing Viewpoints is known for is these viewpoint articles. So we're going to look at these 64 viewpoint articles. These are persuasive articles that are written about a particular aspect of this larger topic. So just looking through here, we can see digital detox, we can see cell phones in schools, uh, re something related to cell phones and unhappiness, a lot more on cell phones in schools, and some other issues like texting and driving and emergency room visits and facial recognition and other things. But since we see so many on cell phones in schools, let's pick one of these to look at. Now, first of all, if you take a look at these topics, you'll see that some of them seem to be okay with cell phones in schools, and some seem to be talking about getting rid of cell phones in schools. So you can see that there are different perspectives on this. And if we click on one of these articles, you can read the author's argument, um, their stance on this topic. So the articles are usually pretty short. Uh, sometimes they refer to other studies or other um, resources in here. So if you decide to use this article in your research, you can come up here to the top and click Cite and get a formatted citation. But even if you decided not to use this particular article, uh, this resource is really helpful for just letting you explore those different ideas uh, and different viewpoints on, on particular topics. So let's go back to the Choosing a Topic site and we'll look at another resource. Another one that's good for choosing a topic and exploring topics is CQ Researcher. So again, they also have a featured report on a particular topic. And if you scroll down, you can see some of their other recent reports. And over here on the side, you can see some of the hot topics and these will link out to articles on these particular issues. You can also use the Browse Topics drop down at the top to explore some particular broad categories. So for instance, education, that's a really broad topic, but if I click on this, it's gonna take me to some subtopics. So these are all very different types of things. So if I click on one of these, like diversity issues, now I can see the particular reports that have been written on, these different, on this topic. And you can see all of the different options here, lots of different, um, angles to come at this broad topic of, of diversity in education. So if I click on this STEM gender gap, this article, this report is from 2018. You can see all of the different sections of the article over here on the left. Unlike the viewpoint articles in Opposing Viewpoints, 
The CQ articles are very long and comprehensive. And also, rather than being uh, persuasive articles, they're more informative. As we scroll down, you can see that there are footnotes which link you out to additional sources or sources used uh, to write this report. And as we scroll, we also will see lots of charts and graphs that you can download and use as visual aids in your research papers and speeches. Let's go back and quickly scan just a few more options that we have. World News Digest is a good place to find news articles on current issues and also historical issues. Health and Wellness is a good place to come just for health topics. And Biography is a great place if you're looking to do your paper on a person. Here we have some additional web pages that are useful for um, exploring topics. And if you need to choose a topic related to a career field or your major, then this box gives you some pointers about how to go about doing that. So look around this guide. There are many more things that we haven't looked at, um, especially at the, the tabs at the top here. Lots of things for you to, to look through uh, that will help may help you find some inspiration for where to start on your research. And most of these resources that I've shown you can be found from the library's homepage by going through the databases A to Z link. And they're also on many of those subject-based research guides. If you need help with this or any other research question, click on the blue Ask Us tab to chat with a librarian or email a librarian if we're offline.